Hey guys, Nate here from MotivationUSA.com. Let's take a look at removing a decibel killer uh, with a C-clip style retainer ring. Most often you are gonna use uh, C-clip pliers, which look like these, and you'll notice the two little teeth fit into the C-clip and just pinch the C-clip in order to remove it. Basically the pliers grab the openings of the C-clip ring, pinch them together, making the overall C-clip a smaller diameter, which allows it to pull out of its opening. Uh, the best way to do this is with the C-clip pliers, but we'll show you here in a second how to do it if you don't have this tool. Once you have the C-clip removed, you can now grab the DB killer and pull it out. Most of the time it'll come out with uh, a good pull on some pliers. Sometimes you have to twist it around a little bit to break it free. If it's really stubborn, you can come in from the back side of the exhaust and push it through with a broomstick or the back end of a hammer or any, anything. Just be very careful not to do any damage to the interior baffling. You can see there's not really much to these uh, decibel killers. Just a little bit that will knock down some of the exhaust flow. Reinstalling the DB killer, um, assuming you'd ever want to, uh, is pretty much just the reverse. Push it back in, you'll actually see a little slot on the inside where the C-clip falls into. Um, putting the C-clip back in can be a little bit more difficult. Sometimes you have to push on one side more than the other just to get it to lock in. But again, it's pretty much the reversal of what you just did to remove it. Now I've shown you how you can remove this with a C-clip, but we get a lot of questions on this because a lot of people don't own a C-clip plier set in their toolkit. So if you don't have the C-clips, there is a trick. If you've got a little bit of safety wire left over, you can run uh, the safety wire through just one of the eyelet openings in your C-clip. And if you'll run it through and then pull it back out so that you've got two strands of safety wire to work with. Uh, typically the, the double strand is what gives it enough strength to work, but just kind of feed it through, um, grab both ends of your safety wire, and then you can actually either use your hands or if you've got safety wire pliers, go ahead and grab the two ends and twist them together. Uh, this just kind of makes the wiring a little, little stronger, a little, little easier to grab. And then you'll notice once you've got several twists in your wire and you can get a good grip on it, just start to pull inward with a pressure to unseat just that first edge of the C-clip. You'll notice once you get that first edge to pop inward and come out of the groove, the rest of the C-clip is just gonna pull right on out. <laughs> 